everyone, it's Viv with your latest Nikki news. Blood Moon is finally coming to Love Nikki. Yay! So I did this event when it first released in Miracle Nikki C server on November 2018. So if you want to watch me pull in that horde to catch alive, check out the link in the description below. Oh my gosh, like a ton of emotions go through your body when you are pulling in a gacha. Go watch it, it's sad. I mean, it's fun. <laughs> in this video, I am going to show you a breakdown of all the suits, all the backgrounds, and I'm going to show you the secret bonus items that you will get in this event, but isn't a part of a suit. And I'm going to share with you something that might turn you off from doing this hell event. Before I jump in, here is a disclaimer. This event changed a lot from when it was first released. What I'm about to show you is true for Miracle Nikki, but might be different when it comes to Love Nikki. So let's jump in. First up, we have... <gasps> so when you finish the Hell event, you get access to this beautiful animated image here. Look at this gorgeous rose, the cross, and she's like standing on a cross. Ooh, and the petals flowing. And you also have access to the beautiful image of the fairy set as well. Look at these white flowers flowing upwards and the beautiful light shining upon her and her broken wings. Ah, so beautiful. Anyway, let's look at the suits in the free dressing. Oh, here's me right now. Oh, this is me just saying thank you to all my viewers because I love you all so much. Alrighty, so let's strip her down and let's look at the first suit. So this hell event format, there's gonna be five different nodes. If you want to know the cost, they are right there on the right of my screen. So first node suit, it's going to be mystery maze. And this is how it looks like right here. So this, this is what I got on the first node at least. I think this is very common on the first node, but it might be different for everyone. You're gonna get this cape thing. You're gonna get this top, this bottom, and this is how it looks like with the top and the bottom. And here's the cape, and here's how it looks like without it. I think it looks good with the top. Here's the shoe. Let me strip her. And here is her neck thing. Actually, I think, yeah, I feel like this top makes a lot more sense with this bow. It just looks off without it, doesn't it? <laughs> yeah, yeah, it looks better with it. And then here is the hat. And then here is a sword. Let me just take off the pants to show you how the sword looks like. So there it is. It's like a waist item, sort of. Here are the gloves. And okay, no, here's the waist item. Here, this is just a sword. And yeah, that is pretty much it. This is what I got on the first node. Second node is going to be at the 900 diamond mark. And it's going to be Abyss Ghost. And this is it. Let me strip her down to do a breakdown. And you're going to get her hair. You're going to get her dress. Really pretty. It looks like there are cranes on her. Awesome. And here is her jacket, shoes, her hat. Earrings. These earrings are actually really, really pretty. Here's the necklace and the gloves. And this is how the entire suit looks like. And then a third node. We have Nobo Heart. This one right here. So it's going to be two poses. Number one. Wow. <laughs> so this is sort of like one of the grand prize suits. This is how the pretty dress looks like. She's like holding the dress right here. And then you get little anklet things, flowers in her hair. Here's a earring. And notice that her ear is pointy too. That's interesting. And then here is her cape, gloves, fairy wings and they're glittery isn't this pretty and then here is her makeup and this is her full suit very very beautiful and then here is her special pose oh so special pose is going to include five items here is the hair and here is her praying pose which i love so so much here's her crying makeup her wings are broken and they're animated too and here is her hair piece flower sweet pistol and 
there are actually more pieces to the set and I'm gonna show you. You are going to get a tattoo. Yeah, so this tattoo, it's not here in the set, but it is a part of the set, sort of. Like you see, story suit, noble heart. This suit is called noble heart and it includes this tattoo. And ooh, let me show you. This tattoo is actually really, uh, how do you say it? Brutal looking. Let me put on a top for you to show you how it looks like. Oh my gosh, like this top doesn't do it justice. I need a top that shows the belly. Oh my gosh, look at the arms. Do you see that? Okay, a, shoot, a shirt that shows the belly. Oh, oh, Terrell. Look at that, there's a gash in her stomach. Oh my gosh, what happened? Let me put a short hair on her too. Look at that. Like. The blood is still wet. This was recent. Oh my gosh. So yeah, this tattoo is not a part of the set. Maybe it's because it's too violent. <laughs> what do you guys think? Okay, so I want to show you two other items that are a part of this set, but is not a part of this set too. So let me put some bottoms on and let's go to the view room. All right, so there's the tattoo fresh blood and there are also two other items that you will get after finish this suit and it's going to be a cage Ooh, so this cage is really cool you can actually be inside the cage so if i like press backwards and ah you see that it looks like i'm standing inside and it looks like i can be like behind it or in front of it as well so that's pretty awesome so there is this white cage and there's also this black cage. Ooh, so yeah, you can be in this cage. You can put your friend in this cage. You can put Momo in this cage. <laughs> like there's, there's a cage for two of you. So I can be backwards in it and I can be forwards with it. So that's pretty awesome. Yep, so cage number one and cage number two. You can use both of these in the free dressing and yeah that is the third node suit for most people at least let's look at the fourth node suit it's going to be loyal servant and i really really like this one it's a cute little vampire maid set check this out dude fourth node y'all four thousand eight hundred diamonds and let me take off her clothes to do a breakdown first thing is the makeup dude i love her expression here isn't this so cute and here is her wrist lit thing here is her neck thing here is her maid thing shoes socks really cute socks i love the designs on her knee and then here are some leg garter things and then here are some jacket pieces <laughs> it looked like gloves but it's a jacket and here is the cute little maid outfit oh isn't she adorable this suit is actually really really popular and here is the special pose and it includes a coffin and bats that's so awesome so let's do a breakdown a makeup is the same the headpiece is the same the difference is this pose and the bats and the coffin let's check them out in the free dressing because i i like doing this so this is what i enjoy doing i enjoy like putting the coffin let me move the coffin. So I enjoy putting the coffin down so it looks like, you know, it's actually on the floor. And I like putting the Nikki in here so you can move it like in the coffin, which is really cool. And you can move it forward too. So yeah, I'm going to put her in here. I'm going to reverse her. So it's like, ah, uh, just woke up from this coffin, y'all. <laughs> and the bats are going to be movable as well so yeah i really really like this one like for a fourth note suit this is a really really good suit and then finally we have the 
grand prize Su usually found in the fifth note for 7,650 diamonds. And it is going to be the bloodthirsty blood moon vampire set right here. Uh, so here is the original pose. There is a lot going on here. Holy moly. Oh, there's still way more at the bottom. All right, so here's her makeup. It's like a little drip of blood from her lips. Here is her waist item. She got tattoos too. Let me put on her bottom. So yeah, the tattoo is going to be on her neck and her thigh. She has a whip going on. She has a, it looks like a policia cap. She also has wings. Black and white wings. It's like angel and devil. Well, actually not really angelic. And then there are her boots. Her socks look like this. It's one white and one black. Same with the shoes. And then there is the top. So yeah, the top and the bottom. It looks really, really sexy. And yeah, that is the full suit right here. There is also this one. Hello. I'll call you back. I'm making a video now. Anyway, <laughs> so here is the special pose. Ooh. So did you notice that it was shaded when I put it on? Nice, right? So yeah, there's six pieces here. Here's the special pose. And if you put everything on, you get the shadow. That's so cool. So let's do that. Let's put her on this cross thing. Ooh. So this is what you see right now. It's sort of like darkish, but then when you change the background, so let's change it to, I don't know, the fairy background. Oh, like you see the shade disappears, right? That's so cool. I love this like special effect here. So this is a special effect for the pose and the background really really cool ah, i really like it so yeah speaking of backgrounds these are the two backgrounds uh, let me make the figure smaller Boop. let's put her at the side backgrounds you are going to get the blood moon of course with all the beautiful roses and a cross and this giant crescent red moon and then you are also going to get the fairy background which has animated petal things flowing up and this kind of veil it looks like a veil and yeah very very beautiful so you put the fairy right here in the middle so it looks like she's in the spotlight so so pretty i love it so much and now I want to share with you something that might turn you off from doing this hell event. You know how Love Nikki is one of the newer servers? Whatever Miracle Nikki servers get, we in Love Nikki tend to get later on. This is true for the Chinese server and the C server, but the praying suit and the Blood Moon Vampire suits and the cages are banned in the starry corridor. You cannot use them at all. So let me show you what's going on here. Um, here I am in, look at this. Like you remember I had the praying pose, right? I don't even see it here anymore and I'm not even lagging, I swear. I'm gonna show you Blood Moon, the Blood Moon suit. Look at this, there's an X over this. I cannot even put it on at all. Cannot wear this clothes in the light corridor. Oh, that is sad. And the original pose, I cannot use the top and the bottom as well. Yeah, that is rough. And then for the noble heart, the fairy suit, I cannot use the special praying pose. However, I am able to use the original pose. And there's also other things that you can't use, like... um. Let me go to the accessories. Um, you can actually use the tattoo. <laughs> like beside, aside from it being like gory and stuff, you, you can use this. Huh. 
You can't, wait, you can't use little freckles? What is this? Anyway, this, this is something else. This is something else. This is not a part of the uh, hell event, but <laughs> I did not know that we can't use little freckles, but we can, but we can use the bloody scars. Huh? Interesting. You also cannot use the cages and that makes me so sad. Like I can't put my friends in prison. <laughs> no. So yeah. Sad face. Guys, knowing that there's a possibility that we won't even be able to use these suits in the Star Corridor in the future, would you still do the hell event? For me? Heck yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna abuse their use in the Star Corridor while I still can. And if the restrictions do come to Love Nikki, I'll be like, ah, uh, well, at least I took advantage of it before the patch. <laughs> all right. That is all for me. Thank you so much for watching. Enjoy Blood Moon, everyone. We finally got it. Uh, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you next time.